Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Skookum, and I'm out here where I grow my spruce wood. My glorious spruce wood. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm collecting some resources. Uh, I have a plan for today, a project that we can work on. I think it will be pretty interesting. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, let's see, what else do we need besides spruce wood? I need some dark oak wood. I also need some redstone. This will be our first major, well it's not a major redstone project, but it's a significant one. Um, oh, I'm also going to need stone bricks, which I have some right now. What else do I need? We're going to be needing some pumpkin pie, of course. <laughs> Pumpkin pie is delicious. So today we're going to be building an enchanting room. Exciting. Uh, here it is. <laughs> no, this is just a temporary setup uh, that I've set up for now. I did some quick enchanting on these iron tools. Uh, so it would be easier to collect some resources for our real enchanting room, which is here. Don't mind that. Yep, so, uh, our new enchanting room. Uh, I have most of it planned out in creative. Uh, we'll just see how many times I have to switch back and forth between creative and this world, because I know I'm going to forget <laughs> all sorts of things. Let's grab this crafting table over here. Ah. Hmm. What don't we need? I guess that stair. So I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. Um, it took me a lot longer than I wanted it to when I was building it. And I'm just like, oh, I can't get this right. And like, how do I light this area up? And it's difficult. But I think I got it worked out pretty well. Let's throw this here. Um, okay, so let me just go over a few things in this room. Um, on each side here you see that I have little coves, I guess. These areas up here I will use for chests and furnaces, probably. Uh, chests for tools and armor that we enchant. Also books and lapis and whatnot. Uh, and I wanted to do it on one side and I figured it would look weird if it was only on one side, so I copied it over here. Um, most of this is going to be in stone brick. I should probably start building, shouldn't I? You guys are bored already. <laughs> um, let's see. Ah. I need more inventory space. So, a few nights ago, I was uh, in the farms, and I was working on those a bit, and I started noticing that my frame rate was dropping, like, significantly out of nowhere, and, like, seemingly randomly. So I was thinking, like, ah, is there, is there something else running on my computer, or is... Is there like too many items? Because I was over by the chickens and I figured, well, maybe the chickens are laying too many eggs, right? I have a lot of chickens now and I was breeding them up and like, yeah, there must be too many eggs. And by the time I got to the chickens, my frames were already down to like, like 12 frames a second. I was like, what is going on? So I finally managed to get a few frames and <laughs> I picked up as many eggs as I could. And I'm like, well, this isn't it. I, I don't think it could be the chicken eggs, right? And usually, my, I have a decent computer. It's it's a few years old, but it can handle, you know, Minecraft logic, I guess. <laughs> Minecraft items. Um, yeah, so I couldn't figure out what was going on, so I decided to reinstall Minecraft. And when I did that, I didn't remember to remember my sound settings. So my sound might be a little too high or too low. I think I tried to get it as 
good as I can. Oh, I don't know if I set the brightness or not either. Oh, I, th I think I did. Yeah, everything seems okay for now. Let me know if you guys see anything weird or if anything sounds weird. What else do I need? <clears throat> A lot of what I was struggling with when I was making this room is, uh, it seemed like there was too much wood, but I couldn't really figure out, like, a good color scheme for what I wanted. I mean, I think the end result that I'm going to have here looks pretty decent, but as far as colors go, but when you really look at it, you're like, wow, there's a lot of wood in this room. Did I use all those? Which is fine. I like wood. I just want to make sure everybody else is happy. <laughs> like, ah, oh, there's way too much wood in this room. But like, I like the way wood looks. It looks good. Um. Hmm. So, <clears throat> before I cut away and do most of this work off camera, um, let's talk about this here. This here. Let's use an actual block. That block there will be where <clears throat> our enchanting table will be. Um, and all of this here on both sides will be our books, right? So both sides. And I kind of wanted it so that we could choose how many levels we wanted on each item because there's no point well I guess in the future if we have a lot of experience coming in <laughs> uh, it will be easier to enchant higher level things but for now I want to make it easy to enchant low level things without having to put torches on all the bookshelves so I made a design with some redstone that I'm going to have a button here and on this side and when you press it ugh, not that. When you press the button, all the books on this side will go back one block, right? So they'll be out of the range of the enchanting table. And also on this side. So these three books, bookshelves in the back, will remain. So I think that's a level... I'm not sure, maybe like level 8 or 7 or 6? Maybe 6, I don't know. But I'll probably probably do most of my enchantments uh, at pretty low levels for the time being. Until we get some sort of experience farm. If, if that ever happens. Um, what else? Yeah, I'll probably... Yeah, let me dig a lot of this out and I'll come back with uh, the redstone design that I came up with. Okay, so I have each side dug out, as you can see. This will be plenty of room for our redstone. Um, yeah, so I was looking for a T flip-flop design. And a cool one that I found... Let's see. I think this goes up, right? And then this one goes this way. And then... A hopper here going down into that one so the way this works we put an item in here when we send a signal down through the chain um, it'll power this dropper okay and it's pointed upwards so the item will travel up over and then down and then here we want a comparator so when the item does get here to this dropper this comparator will sense it and send a signal right so let's see if that works it does not <laughs> huh well let's try it a couple times sometimes I have this issue with these things 
it's there again. Aha! So now we have a signal. Okay. I want it. I don't want to have to click it more than once. Yep, okay, it's working now. Okay. Oh, and the reason why I had to dig this out instead of just powering this one... Um, see, I found this in a tutorial of some somebody on YouTube who showed me this design. Um, and they said you could just put a button on this side, and you click it, and it will work like you want it to. But because I want to do it remotely, like I want my button here, and this set up here, you, you have to power both of these at the same time, and a button will do that. It'll power this block and an adjacent block, but since we're doing it remotely, we need to power these at the same time. So that's why that's under there, and that dust powers this one. Right. So we need one of these because this signal won't go any more than one block or one redstone dust. So we need to carry the signal further with a repeater. And we want to carry the signal I think to about there. Let's try to get this set up. Whoops. We have our sticky pistons. Yeah, I think that's correct. Let's throw some dirt here temporarily for testing. And we need to change this out. I shouldn't be wasting my stone bricks, actually. <laughs> it's okay, though. Uh, no, that's not what we want. Okay. How did I do this before? I don't remember. I think. There we go. That's what we want. Simple, easy. And there we go. So our bookshelves will be able to toggle back and forth. Seems to be working. Excellent. Okay, so I just need to copy this design on the other side as well. And then we can get to some more building. So I want to give you guys an update on how this is going. And you get to give me your first opinions on what you think of this place so far. There. So, what do you think? <laughs> Still a lot to be done. Uh, the ceiling is probably going to be these half slat. Yeah, I think they have to be one block higher up. I like half slabs on the ceiling. Like, that looks really clean and nice. Yeah, so this uh, will be copied on that side as well. I think. Maybe I'll find a different use for that side. But I got a few bookshelves in here. I'm out of sugar cane, so I can't make any more paper. So we'll be missing some for now. But this works well. Um, here... going to be our crafting table. We want it close by when we're enchanting in case we need to make tools on the go. And probably an anvil on this side. Ooh. That's creepy. An anvil on this side and maybe an ender chest on this side. If anybody out there can guess where I am, I will commend you. Let me give you a little bit of a hint. Ready? Ooh. Ooh. 
Do you know now? <laughs> I feel like taking a little bit of a break from that uh, enchanting room for now. I need to relax and do something relaxful, right? So, what my plan is for here is I feel like building a sugarcane farm. <laughs> Nothing big or anything crazy, just a small garden. Um, this episode has just been crazy for me. <laughs> you guys probably haven't noticed. Um, but my audio recording equipment, let's say, has been acting up like crazy. It See, what it does is it likes to shut off whenever it wants to. Oh, whoops. And it's been, I know it's been doing this for a long time, like since I've owned it. I've had this thing for about two or three years now. And almost since, like, immediately after buying it, I noticed that it acted sort of funny. Like, sometimes it wouldn't record properly, and sometimes it wouldn't even turn on. But then other times it would work great. And for the past two months, probably, it's it's been fine. I've been using it just fine. But now it's starting to act up again just as I start making YouTube videos and it kind of becomes important to, uh, I don't know, it's, it's just, it would be nice if it worked, let's just say. And so it's been shutting off and it interrupted my recording at least, I don't know, I think it shut off three times on me while I was recording. So I watched the video back and I'm like, yep, okay. And then it gets to the point and you just hear it go click, it shuts off in silence. It's like, ah, oh, no. So that's stressful. When you have to, like, do the same thing over and over again, like, three times. And you sort of have to, like, act. You're like, oh, this is the first time I'm doing this. You know? <laughs> you guys won't ever notice, but... I don't know. It's funny. Not that I mind, you know? It's not a huge deal. It's just... You know, it is what it is. Um, and plus that w when you start doing a project in Minecraft I think like if you're playing by yourself you don't really notice how long projects really take and when you're trying to record again not that I mind like I'm having fun I'm enjoying this a lot but it just seems that everything takes a little bit longer so I started to realize that it sounded like I was just complaining a lot. <laughs> I wasn't trying just to complain. I just felt like doing something different. And it was stressful that my uh, my recording device kept shutting off. But um, let's go take a look at the enchanting room. It's, all, it's done now. It's complete, I think. And yeah, I forgot to mention that I, I figured out what was wrong with my recording thing. It um, it has a screen on it, <laughs> like so it shows you what the audio levels are and you can see the volume and all that. It says if you're recording or not. And all I did is I turned down the brightness on the screen, right? And I think it was just drawing too much power because the microphone that I use is a condenser microphone and that requires 48 volts, like phantom power, right? And I think the whole thing was just drawing too much power. So I, I turned the, the brightness on the screen down and it works fine. Hasn't shut off since. But, okay, enough of that. <laughs> uh, epic reveal in three, two, one. Ah. Yeah, so tell me what you think. Tell me what you really think. <laughs> Do you hate it? Do you love it? I love it. Okay, so it's not done. <laughs> We're close. So let me make sure these still work. They seem to be. Oh, let's do a test. Okay, so... Uh, let's throw some boots in. Level 30 on those. Take one away. And we're at level 22. Okay. Take them both away. Level 10. So that's pretty cool, right? 
Yeah, so the smallest enchantment we could put on is level... No, because we could just do level 2, right? I wonder... If we put all the books in... Level 3. So I guess it really doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, it's cool, though. We can... It, what it will do is... It will allow us to get different enchantments, because... Let's do another test. I didn't really look. Protection 4, right? On the maximum. Let's see what the lowest is. Projectile protection. So we switch this out. Blast protection. Projectile protection. Well, I guess... Yeah, that would be the same, right? Let's take them both away. So what this is good for, I guess... Is just modifying the enchantments without having to do something else to waste your levels, I guess. Either way, it's awesome. I love it. <laughs> I don't care what you guys think. No, um, if you guys have any suggestions on this, let me know. Yeah, I, I kept this side the same for now, but it can be changed to whatever you guys think it should be. Um, put an armor stand here. And my plan is to have, hopefully, eventually diamond armor here someday. On this side, diamond armor and some diamond tools. And when we have something awesome that we want to keep, we could just display it here. And if you could tell where I hid the lighting, <laughs> take a guess. I thought this was cool, too. I think I want to carry this theme from this room over to our enchanting room, or our nether room as much as we can. I don't want to change too much of this back wall here, though, because I think that looks really cool. I'm still happy with that. Happy with this. Things are going well. Hopefully my recording device doesn't explode or quit working or shut off on me while I'm recording again. <laughs> That's frustrating. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. You know, I've been getting quite a few new subscribers in the past couple days, and it just blows me away. Like... It really blows me away that people are interested in watching me and they find this these videos entertaining. It's I really appreciate it and I appreciate the likes and the comments. So thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the... I was seriously about to let you guys go without doing an enchantment. We're almost level 30. Do I have any sticks somewhere? Let's make some sticks. So let's do a pickaxe. Whoops. And a helmet. I'm going to stick with iron armor for now. I don't want to waste my diamonds. And I'm level 21, 29 right now, right? So I'm hoping if I take this... Oh! That is lame. Hold on. Uh, what do we do? There was a creeper right over here. Oh! Can I have your XP, please? Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. I mean, we ha we can't forget to use the enchanting table in the first time we build it. Oh my god. What is wrong with me? I am crazy or something. It's going to be a level 30. Unbreaking, okay. It's tempting. It might be... I'm kind of hoping for efficiency. Uh, oh! Not bad. I'm happy with that. Let's do our helmet, too. Protection? Oh, I like blast protection, really. Let's see what happens when we pointlessly modify it. <laughs> Protection two, blast. Protection. Yeah, it's the same. So that kind of stinks. Dang it! Dang it, Mojang! Dang it, Mojang! Well, let's just do it. Blast protection is better than nothing. <laughs> uh, it's cool. I love it. See you guys later.